All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we are at the Overland Expo. Just walked in, and there's an Earth Rover right here. It's only a quarter million. Can we have it? Probably more than that for that one. F550. Man. We don't really know where we're going, but we got all day. Look at Self inflating tires, two slide outs. You have a slide out here with a grill on it. Western Range. My back is sweaty, yeah. I dig these old vans. Look, look at that lock. Old school blazer with the cat eye front clip. Real top tent. Look at that. That's a cool detail. Well, we're at the Go Fast Camper booth. These are, uh, I've wanted to look at these for a while. So it's just a topper, like mine is, but it pops up. And then you move these panels and you can get up and stand up or you can sleep up in the top of it. I'm oh, sorry, I thought you were someone else. No. <laughs> Take a look up here. And it's really lightweight. These side panels pop open. I think for the price point, this wouldn't be bad. And you can pull these panels out, set them up there, and then you can stand up in it the whole time. So you can see how this panel. So just go straight past the moto, like left, and then straight all the way. Oh, fine. Here's one on a Ford Maverick, and I dig the new Mavericks. Small little truck, camper you could stand up in. I think it would be pretty sweet. Let me see if I can stand up in this one. Is it alright if I stand up in the back of this? Nope. Need it. My old knees aren't used to this though. It's also allowed on the other side too if you want to get out that way. Oh, to get out the side of it. Yeah, there's a ladder. As you guys can see, I can stand up fully in here. I really, I like these a lot. For the price point, it's not bad at all. This could be an intermediate between my truck setup and a van at this point. Huh, I like it. All right, guys, we've been wandering around a little bit, but I finally found the All Dogs Off-Road booth, and I had to stop yeah, by because these are some uh, local healers that we've got doing big things in the off-road scene these, yep. these days. You guys, is, are the wheels a new thing since I saw you guys last? They are. We actually got the wheel. The, so when you were more with us, I had the prototypes on my truck, but we did not have the production ones, and the production ones are now here. Uh, they're Frontier, Xterra, Pathfinder, Bolt Pattern only, uh, plus 10 offset, so they'll leave you flush with the fenders. And they run, I think, 262 a piece. Uh, the bronze and the gunmetal are a color that will always be around. If you are interested in the red, the red is a one-off color that when they're gone, they're gone. So 
I know there's all sorts of are like oh, yeah, one of the yeah. staple things. Do you have your truck here? It's in the parking lot. Yeah, we got yeah. Chad's, so Chad's is the yeah. third gen. <laughs> yeah, we can't fit it. Look at that guys, not often you get to see a wagon here. That thing honestly brings back some memories. So, me being the wild child that I was, I had a babysitter until I was like 13, but it was a dude at the time and he had one of these. And he would take me rolling around in that thing, so that was pretty cool, but yeah. That's cool. That brings back some memories. Another sweet unibog, y'all. I'm gonna flex down a little bit. The Mega Raptor. Oh, there's so much stuff around here. I know. You can't even. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Incredibly overwhelming. There's just cool stuff everywhere. We'll take a look at this one, uh, this booth here. So these are skinny guy campers and people have been recommending these to me and they're kind of neat, I guess. Oh, this one is just a regular style topper. So they've got a couple different designs, but it's a regular style topper and then you would sleep over here. But then this design on this one over here, it's not full pass through. So you have bed space available and then you have to climb up in it and then you're basically on top of the bed to sleep over there but I don't know I think I would prefer a hard roof that's my thing but they make them for you see they got it for a Tacoma there too yeah I think I just prefer a hard roof Love the color on that, guys, and the white wheels are really cool, too. And, of course, it's for sale. Man, that's cool. I'm surprised it's left-hand drive. Okay, so I finally made it to the four-wheel campers booth, and uh, we're gonna check some of these out. And actually, TFL Off-Road, TFL Off-Road is out here with their Lightning that they just drove up to Alaska. But uh, we're gonna check out this one over here because I'm a big fan of the Project M, and the Project M is just a topper system instead of being a slide in like the rest of these. And there you go. So on the outside, you still have a full pop-up. You have a cab over, and is it all right if I get in here? And boom, I can fully stand up in here. You have this giant bed, and this will slide forward so that you can use the whole standing area of the truck bed. You've got dual fans. This one has, the uh, cold weather pack, I believe is what it's called. So it's double layered. Like this, this, this is what I would really like to have the project. If they have a bed rug in here, same thing as I run. I'm not gonna sit down, but I believe you can sit down on these benches. This one is bolted down. It looks like they have had it mounted to a different vehicle before, but I like these, the four wheel campers project M. Let's go ahead and send me one. Oof. And then you've got some others over here, like there you've got a slide in one. Here's a flatbed one. 
Uh, so you have a side entryway door, same over there. That's the Grand B, so that one's eight foot long, which is really cool. There's another Grand B. I like the Grand B with the side dinette, which that one does have. That is really cool. And there's another Grand B. This one has the front dinette. Yeah, we haven't signed a deer up since last year. We signed up for Gordon and Washington. Yeah, this is what I would really like to have. Uh, you know, obviously a van would be cool too, but this this is neat. This is really neat. And over here, they've got a, a Project M mounted onto a Ford Lightning. And you guys might you guys might recognize him. I watch their videos too, so uh, just watch them drive this all the way up to Alaska. Ford Lightning, so all electric. And you can see, I guess, on the sticker up here. Look at these, all these 550s, single wheel conversion 550s. They've got one sitting up here on top of the other two. I can't even get the whole thing in the shot. So we're taking guess. Huh? We're taking guesses. Oh, man. Not only is it single wheel, but it's four linked. On on that air tanks. Jesus, yeah. So those must be big, big air shocks, I would think. Big red air shocks? Mm -hmm. Air tanks. There's another air tank, another air tank. Yes. Yep. There we are. Okay, so these are our quick release mounts. In order to release them, you just release the tension. You can release this pen, and then now you can slide this up. You do this on the four corners, and you can lift your tent up. When you want to return it back, you just get your rack up against this position. This will be a fixed set already. You slide this mount right in, and then you just put your pin in. Secure it with that and make sure it's rattle free. You could also use these locks that will fit right in if you want to dish. Um, it's a neat setup guys and, and looking at this yes. might be kind of hard to see what we're doing here but this is a rooftop tent that's flipped upside down so imagine you know turning it the other way and you have these mounted to the bottom of your tent and so you know a clevis pin and unscrew it and you can pull it all off of there. Mm -hmm. So go from an overland or daily oh. driver in just a few seconds. So we have some of our standard mount samples we can show you. We can show you what originally um, comes with your rooftop tent. So these would be a nice addition if you want to be able to remove your tent, get into your garage, go to car, um, car washes. Um, it's also add security, so it's easy for you to get off. You don't want it to be easy for someone else to get off. Mm -hmm. So we've got a set of these for four, and we also got um, these mounts that. You can purchase these. These will be your original um, set of hardware that should come with your mount. Um, I mean, with your tent. This would just be a lock. I can't see. I might have to edit this one. There you go. I don't do this one often. Okay. And so so what you do is just hide this one. Yeah. So this is what your original hardware would look like. We just sell this little mount that you can just sandwich them in to secure. You put your lock back in. So is this one just meant to be more of like a, a theft deterrent type of feature? Yeah. So these we sell in each's. So if you just want one, 
or if you want to to make sure that no one unfolds your tent. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Safe and secure. Yeah, Jeremy is buying some stuff for his tent back there, guys. Uh, so we've been hanging out for a little bit to make sure we get the proper fit. But it's a really cool concept, and it's not something that I ever have yeah. seen before. So, how long have you guys been doing this? Uh, about eight months now. Eight months? Mm -hmm. Business is taking off well. Yeah, yeah. Our our expo's been doing well. We got really great feedback on those, and so now we've grown to our second product, and third uh, product should be coming out next month. So, awesome. Just to keep updated with that. And the website? Vanultra.com. Vanultra. Dot com. So if you need any quick release mounts for any of your rooftop tents or any of your other rooftop accessories, boxes, etc., it would you can mount it all to, yes, to basically all anything. Mm -hmm. We're looking into integrating it into different applications. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, y'all. We're going to go find ourselves some lunch. It's incredibly hot. And we kind of walked through the whole thing. Uh, I got a bunch of free stickers and stuff, but I I stayed away from spending any money except for no, I don't think I even spent any money on water. But they almost sold me on one of those zero breeze air conditioners, so I'm thinking about it. But close to two thousand dollars, I don't know. But uh, the show was cool. Got a weekend pass, so might come back and check it out tomorrow. We shall see. But uh, it's time for some lunch. I, that's what I thought too. Yeah. All right, well, I got the French dip. Let's see what this is all about. It's supposed to be made out of prime rib. All right. Cheers. y'all so I guess I forgot to film an outro for this video and uh, I'm currently still on the road so if you guys are gonna follow along uh, this is a few days later and I'll give you a sneak peek out the window of what's going on out there and off to this side of me I have a, a river and there's a mountain behind those trees but this isn't the first mountain adventure I've had on this trip so you'll have to stay tuned for what's to come but uh, yeah the next video that will be coming out is a short walk around of a really cool truck camper that was at the campsite we were staying at, something that I've never seen before. It's going to take me a minute to get that video edited because I need to blur out the guy's license plate and that is always uh, a pain to do for me anyways. But uh, yeah, I'm out on a pretty long adventure so you guys will have to stay tuned for what's to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. I realize it was kind of short and chopped up. And a bit shaky but there was a lot of stuff to see there I'm definitely gonna be going back uh, I'd like to hit the Overland Expo I know they have one in like Arizona I think that would be cool to hit uh, but yeah it was a really cool show um, check out all dogs off-road uh, they are local boys from Lincoln Nebraska so if you want to look them up uh, they do some cool stuff I wish they built parts for my truck but they do not uh, but yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.